Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and review what we learned yesterday, which was counting atoms. So um, a couple of words that we used over and over again were chemical formulas. Remember, those are the letters or numbers used to represent substances. So H2O is a chemical formula for water. CO2 is a chemical formula for carbon dioxide. Um, we looked at C6H12O6, which is the chemical formula for glucose. So remember, that's what plants make during photosynthesis. Subscripts. Subscript is the number on the bottom right telling how many atoms there are of that element. So for example, C2H5O6 tells us there's two carbon atoms, one, two, five hydrogen, one, two, three, four, five. There's one oxygen, and then there's one more hydrogen here. Okay. This one, three H2O, H2, the subscript tells us there's two hydrogen and there's one oxygen, okay? Coefficient, coefficient is the large number in the front that indicate how many molecules. So here it has, we have three H2O or three water molecules. So one, two, three. So today what we're going to do is we're still determining the number of atoms of each element in a chemical formula containing subscripts, but now we're gonna add a little more to that. So if you had any issues with this yesterday, you have to let me know. If you struggled a bit, you have to let me know because we're building off of that. And if you did not attend class yesterday, if you did not watch the videos yesterday, if you did not complete yesterday's work, you need to go back and do 33A first before you even attempt 34A, okay? So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you.